Hi everybody, this is Cindy um, from The Jewelry Nurse. I am just going to do a short video and try and keep this one under a half hour. I'm going to do an unjarring and I started unjarring it. As you can see, I already cut it open. I got this one from the Goodwill and I paid $12.95 and I was filming and I paused it to um, untangle some jewelry and then realized after a while I wasn't recording so gonna start all over let me get the jar out of the way also I wanted to weigh in a little bit about um, whether or not a magnet is useful in identifying precious metals I believe that it is because there are um, like heavy metals and um, heavy metals generally stick like let's see there are four or five of them like iron cobalt cobalt nickel steel manganese um lodestone and one other one that begins with a g and i can't remember it off the top of my head and then there are those that do not stick to a metal and that is like gold silver um brass and what else gold silver brass and copper do not stick to metals and most of your precious jewelries are made are not precious jewelries but most of your really good costume jewelry uses brass as a base metal and plates it so even if it doesn't actually tell you whether or not it's really gold or silver it will help you identify if it is a better metal or not and so things like um, stainless steel for one a lot of stainless steel um, jewelry is um, out there and stainless steel in some forms will not stick to a metal when it has um, certain other alloys to mix with it that kind of change the composition and then it will not stick but I think they call them or centic or something I can't remember what they call them but when when um, stainless steel is mixed with certain types of other metals it will not stick to a magnet which is pretty much the kind that jewelry is made out of so a lot of your jewelry if it's not sticking it's probably made out of a better metal like um, you know other than gold and silver like brass or stainless steel or something like that tin and aluminum are like slightly magnetic when it comes to tin it if, if the magnetism the magnetic field is high enough then it might stick but it has to have a pretty strong so I know sometimes you're like messing with the chain and it kind of feels like it's sticking but it's not sticking and it's kind of lying lightweight you know it doesn't really stick but it sort of wants to have a little bit of attraction it's probably made out of tin or aluminum so it, it is definitely useful in that respect so anyways I am going to get on with re, um, with redoing this so first off and this is why I picked the jar I wish I had a shot maybe I'll um, put a shot on but this is why I picked the jar because it has this had this I can see this Michael Kors watch now I don't know I've seen this exact one on their website so I don't know if it is real or not it doesn't have anything on the back so I don't know if that means it's a fake I mean I mean Michael a lot of my particularly this model they're not all that expensive so would somebody actually bother faking a watch that sells for like $129 new? I don't know, but if it works and it is an actual Michael Kors, then I will probably list this one. So if anybody knows, please comment and let me know. Um, next I have a, looks like a homemade brooch, which is really kind of cute. It's made of felt and buttons and plastic pink cabochon actually glass pink cabochons it's kind of cute it looks like somebody made it they wired that it's actually kind of cute um and then i have a earring this is really cute it's an earring with crystals dangle it is silver tone i do not see any markings on it almost looks kind of well it looks 
like that sort of whitish finish gold can get, so it's probably nickel. It's, uh, yeah, it's sticking, so it's probably nickel, slightly sticking. And then looks like a brass ring. No markings. Fits me, so it's probably about a seven. Yeah, brass not sticking. A enamel earring, no marks, black enamel and gold tone, very nice. Looks like probably brass, made very well. I saw a couple of these in there. This is that clay, or I don't know what you call it, but that sheets of plastic that you cut and melt together. That was kind of popular in the 90s, I think. But, um, yeah, there you go. And... A broken silver chain it's broken but it does have some really nice small pony beads on it so I'll probably put it in a crafters lot and a pair of earrings these are heavy but it looks like somebody made these they're kind of I don't know if you'd want to call them steampunk or not. You can see where they're wired together. Yeah, kind of weird. I don't know what kind of metal that is, but it's not a very good quality metal. So those probably will go into a crafter's lot. And a bracelet. This says, oh, this is J. Crew. It's can't tell whether I think it's black but it's kind of got the nautical theme with the anchors so it may be secret J crew right there um, yeah J crew so it may be um, dark blue hard to tell but a nice bangle probably one of the nicest ones I've gotten so far and then a gold tone hoop I do not see any markings on it if the other one's in there, it'll be a good free gift because it is not worn. The color's not worn. And another hoop style. This is really cute. I like this one. This one's kind of mod, so I might be able to sell it um, if I have the mate. No maker's mark, but they're pretty, they're really cute and they're well made. There's like a little chain. See that? The little chain that is attached to the loop um, but that's cute and a chain a silver chain that is actually broken but it looks like it can be put back together it's not sticking so it might be silver but um, I don't see any marks yeah, I don't see any marks on it, so I'll test it and see. I'll put it over here in the test pile. Next, I have a nice three of these in here. They are, I don't know if they're just bracelets or if they're watch bands, like the kind of watch that just slides on there. Um, they're not leather. They're made out of some kind of fabric, but there's three of those, pink, blue, and white. And then a... This is really cute. This is a choker and it's sticking. It's really that really shiny metal. I think it's definitely nickel as a nickel usually sticks to metals. It's really cute though. Kind of mod. I think I might be able to sell that on eBay. Does stuff like that do well on eBay? Comment, I mean, on eBay or Etsy. Comment and let me know. This does look kind of vintage. It has a pretty cool clasp on it. It's magnetic and the magnet sticking pretty well. And it has a rhinestones on that side. So, and then little black beads on each end. So that's really cute. Very cute. I like that. Okay, and then another necklace. This one is marked NY. I don't know, does NY jewelry do very well? It has, it's that um, like nylon fishing line kind of stuff. It has a cat's eye in it. It feels like a glass. 
it's not um yeah it feels like glass but it does not look like a tiger's eye looks like a glass cat's eye and it's got some little metal beads and some plastic beads on it it's cute okay and a couple of puka shell necklaces i saw in here this one is a real puka shells like i actually had in the 70s when i lived in pacific beach in san diego everybody at the beach was wearing them this one is really lightweight i don't think this one's actually puka shells it looks fake um and a lot of watches in this one this is a let's see what it says i can't read it studio studio time i don't think these sell for very much but it does look like brand new it still has the plastic on the back of the um, bezel so it might or the back i mean the stainless steel it is a stainless steel back and it does not have any scratches or anything it doesn't even look worn so that might be worth putting up for 10 or 12 bucks it um if it works if i get a battery and it works um is this a wind up no it can't be no but um nice really cute though it's kind of a not really a zebra print but sort of um there you go that's kind of cute and i know i saw a mate in there this is sticks to the magnet um i know i did see a mate in there earlier it is enamel on kind of a antique silver tone metal of some kind and then the back is is um outlined in black so that's kind of cute either way you could wear it either way it's cute either way and then lots of earrings in this one black enamel um silver tone i mean gold tone black enamel looks like possibly brass it's pretty shiny but no maker's mark and another watch this one is really cute it has it has absolutely no markings on it but it's really cute and it's in really almost new condition no scratches or nothing kind of like that style but i don't probably be good as a free gift as it works um but it doesn't have any makers identification on it at all here is a really cute little santa earring um yeah cheap not a um not silver or anything and a gold ball earring this is sticking it does feel like metal it's sticking it is cute though it does have a nice fish hook those ones with the, i like these kind of fish hook that have a little ball there that's cute so that'd be good in a um lot of dangle earrings and then a little small um it's fairly small as you can see about my fingernail it has a baguette cut stone and i do not see any kind of maker's mark anywhere but it does look very good quality it kind of almost looks like silver but almost a little too white so i might test it but it is probably stainless or nickel but very cute another enamel earring no maker's mark very nice though looks like there's a lot of enamel in here so i'll probably do a, a lot of enamel and another brass well this one might be um not brass but what is the other one um can't think of that other metal it's like right on the tip of my tongue but it is not brass it's the other one somebody help me out here can't think of the name of that and then there is a gold no maker's mark has a little all right princess cut stone in the middle a fairly large one it is 
about three quarter inch and looks like all the stones are there so that would be really nice in a lot two of post here is another enamel earring rectangle blue enamel and gold and this has a maker's mark actually that one i think says monet very nice um it does have the oh yeah there is a copyright because with monet um i know most um yeah you can see the monet there most monet if well most vintage or most um hallmarked jewelry if it has a copyright it means it was made before 1955 but i know with most companies there are some exceptions with monet they do have some exceptions where they have some pieces that were made after 1955 that they did not put a copyright on so you kind of have to look that one up to figure that out these are not marked they don't they're not sticking it is a um, fleur de lis, and it these are kind of cute. They look really well made. I don't know how it, they're showing up on camera. They have little tiny crystals all the way around. Well, spread out around that are in good shape. I don't know what what that's on, but they're cute. They're they're not expensive, so I probably put them in a lot of dangles and here is a little tiny silver maybe a second hole brushed silver not sticking so probably not nickel it doesn't i don't see any i don't see any marks on it anywhere but it actually kind of does look like silver on the inside so i'll check that out later mate to that other one and ah tangles i had all this tangled out the first time i tried to film and this has a little looks like emerald colors little cross emerald color let me see if it's marked anywhere oops not sticking yeah not sticking I have my magnet right underneath, man. You probably can't see that, but it is my big, my big, big old huge Mako magnet. Yeah, that's a pretty strong magnet. So, actually, that it really looks like gold. It's probably plated, but I don't see any. And the the color of the stones are a real emerald colored. So can tell i have to investigate that more later but that is that's a cute little cross nice gift if it's not plated it might be plated though and a gold figueroa i mean silver figueroa chain silver tone silver tone figueroa sorry putting it up where you can't see it yeah i don't see any marks on it so that is probably kind of looks a little bit like tarnished silver but i don't see any marks on it so i will check it more out later but i do need chains i never get chains for some reason and hardly ever in my jars and i have some that i got before i started filming them um this is looks like it just broke off of something maybe used to be an earring it's cute doesn't doesn't stick so probably no maybe a little bit it might be 10 yeah it kind of wants to stick but not really and here is oh this is cute it's a rhinestone bracelet definitely sticking to the magnet but oh no just the uh, just just the the hang tag is sticking what does the hang tag say it says something on it oh it's claire's yeah claire's um but it is really cute from claire's very cute be a nice um gift nice gift i can't really get it all turned the right way but it is 
Yeah, there you go. Rhinestones and chains in between, but really, really cute. Pretty well made for most of the stuff I see coming from Claire's. And this brooch right here really reminds me of another brooch that I already have listed online. It looks like it looks like it might be made. It's not marked with a hallmark, at least the one I have. Oh, this has something on it. Let me see what it is. It totally reminds me of one I already have listed that's definitely vintage and made of silver. Um, Oh, but it looks like the thing is broken, so that will have to be fixed. Let me not poke myself in the eye. But, yep, this is silver. Ouch, I did just poke myself anyway. This is silver. It actually says silver on it. I don't know if I can get that where you can see it. But I think it's made by that same company as another brooch I have. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know. I don't, the pearls feel like they might be real. Very nice, though. Yep, silver. So, my first piece of confirmed silver in this jar. Oh, that's really cute. It's a little butterfly with purple rhinestones for wings. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's silver. It's really, uh, I mean, it silver tone. Yeah, it's not marked. I don't think it's real silver, but very cute little tiny earring. Really cute. Kind of well made. Better than it looks on camera. The stones are set. Oh, no, they're glued in. But if the other one is in there, that would probably be a free gift or it would go in a lot. Another dangle earring. This one's cute. Couple little pearls and a crystal. You can see the crystal there. Let's see how it catches the light. It's a crystal. And no markings on it anywhere. These are really cute here. Really cute. These are adorable. These are the um, blown glass and you can tell they're hand done because the flower design in each one is slightly different there is no mark on here I don't know who makes all this glass jewelry that everybody comes up with but it all looks like it's kind of similarly made this is not the dichroic but it, it is really cute I don't know if those sell or not if if anybody has had any luck selling any of this dichroic glass stuff uh, or the um, blown glass like this, let me know. Leave a comment. And let's see. More of this um, clay or the, I don't can't remember what you call this, but you know it came in the plastic sheets. And you cut it and baked it. And it was popular in the late 90s, I think. Early, mid, late 90s. Yeah, mid 90s. Looks like they were made. That is a clip back. And this is a dangle. Look like they're made by the same person. And another stuff falling off here. Another fish hook. Well, not fish hook, but I do not see any marks on that. It doesn't stick does appear to be well made it has glass yeah I see them catch the light so it's got black crystals in there yeah you can see them catch the light in there um, the facets are really um, the edges are really crisp and hopefully there's a match in there because that's kind of cute there's the other one of those and a stretchy bracelet it's a nice stretchy bracelet though. It's still got a lot of stretch in it and looks like all of the rhinestones are still there. Yeah, none of the rhinestones are missing. So that would be a nice free gift. I don't know. Does anybody have luck with selling any of this individual? It does look like AB crystals in there. It is for a stretch bracelet. Nicely made. 
another gold tone earring um, pierced looks like it's brass it's that really shiny finish that you get on brass no mark though yeah no mark I can see anywhere um, a sort of a gray gunmetal kind of look it has that's cute little flower with leaves and little stones very cute the other matching earring uh, I don't know if I showed this one yet no I didn't show this one yet um, first time around before I had to redo the video pair of I don't know what you call that that mesh metal mesh with the little circles this is actually metal it's not the um, like mylar and looks like I'm getting some pairs no sticking out oh, that the ear wire is sticking but the gold beads are not uh, they're definitely not anything special probably brass or some kind of brass copper alloy but those are nice I don't know does any the, do people have trouble selling this kind of stuff does it sell and the mod kind of category uh, probably would get put into a um, a lot with other dangle earrings and this is cute keychain sunglasses ball sun beach ball um, flip-flop that's cute nicely made keychain and a, this is kind of big for a definitely not a bracelet and it's kind of big for an anklet but it definitely too small even for a little girl so it must be an anklet maybe with somebody with a larger ankle but it's definitely sticking but all the stones are there so this would make a really nice free gift I have to try it on my ankle and see if it fits actually it looks like it has really light light blue stones in it yeah blue stones you can see those and the mate to that earring oh this is a nice um, stretch I don't see any makers marks on it but it's got kind of um, gold topaz and sort of a cognac color stones in it none of them are missing so that's that would be a really nice gift too I don't know like I said does any anybody have luck selling any of these metal stretch bracelets if if you sell them in a lot or put them in a crafters lot let me know what y'all do with these what what um, actually works with these and then a, another cuff watch this is a Vivian trying to get where you can see it yep Vivian now that focused in nice and this one's actually working and it's not missing any rhinestones they're all there it has little to no wear I don't think these Vivian watches really sell for much but I might get like 12 bucks out of that one it's kind of small I have a small actually that does fit me I have a kind of a small wrist and it does fit me not too bad but that's kind of kind of nice design I like it and the other matching earring a memory wire bracelet this has got those really oh it's not shells it's um, sequins and beads metal beads and looks like actually has some real stones here yep real stones this looks like almost like azurite doesn't look like um oh what's the other blue one I can't think right off the top of my head my gosh I know all this stuff until I turn on the camera of course and it goes right out of my head but 
That's kind of cute. Nice um, free gift with a purchase. And here is a knot earring. It does not have any maker's mark, but it's really well made. Actually looks really new. It looks like it's probably never even been worn. So that would go in a post um, lot. And that's really cute. Another post earring. Looks like it's got a stainless steel back. It doesn't stick. You know, let me see that that knot one doesn't stick either, so it might be plated brass. And this looks like maybe stainless steel or it's not sticking, so it's well, maybe a little. No, not really. No, it kinda wants to, so it might be tin or aluminum. Um, alloys of some kind but all the stones are there it's really cute and let's see another watch um, this one is really cute it is see this one looks new too it yeah it's made out of safety pins and like white pearl seed beads it still has the plastic on the back, so it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. And what is the brand name? I think it is Geneva. Yep, Geneva. Does anybody have any luck selling these? This is kind of a nice one, so I would either give it, if it worked, I would give it as a free gift or maybe even try to sell it for maybe ten dollars but does anybody if you have any kind of luck with these or what you do with them let me know besides take them apart with the gears and make steampunk jewelry um here is a set of um lever backs and these are even the metal is plastic these are kind of cool these definitely look kind of vintage there's no marks on them they've got glue on them but they do look older um they're made out of that plastic resin stuff but they're kind of cool looking they're pretty big though but they're cool looking and another watch this one is not marked but this one's kind of cool. I'm a nurse, so this would be kind of cool to wear to work if it works. It doesn't have a brand name on the back. It just says base metal, bezel, stainless steel. Got a couple of, I don't know if that's dirt or the enamels chipping off, but that's kind of cool looking. And a stretchy beaded plastic bracelet, craft lot, a silver hoop, has a textured pattern to it, almost looks sort of like, um, oh wait a minute, it says something, let's see what it says, where is my loop, it says, Oh, this is Monet. Very cool. Monet. And it has a patent pending and it does not have a copyright. So it does have a patent pending number. So I'll have to look it up and see when these were made. Um, I don't know. Oh, yep. I do have the mate. That's cool. The mate. So that's nice. Another pair of Monet's. And the match to that earring looks like they both have the stones, no missing stones. And I think I had this one earlier, I can't remember. This one is not marked. It doesn't, yeah, it's sort of sticking, but not really strong, so it could be aluminum or tin. It does kind of have that nickel look to it, but they're making a lot of, um, it doesn't look vintage, it looks fairly modern, but they're making a lot of the nickel-free stuff from aluminum, so it could be that. 
and then match to that and this is looks like brass this is cute looks like brass I don't know if I had the other one of this or not I don't remember it looks like it's missing a bead um, it's not sticking so I think it's brass with kind of a dark amber or uh, cognac color glass beads kind of cute needs a bead right there though I think I have some like that so no biggie I can fix that uh, the mate to that other little silver earring that I think looks silver but I can't tell I'll have to check that one out and yeah there's the mate to that other one and it this one's missing a fish hook but I can fix that and the other one is definitely missing a bead those are kind of cute but they are definitely made of brass um another gold tone just it needs to be cleaned up post earring those are kind of cute they're good size they're not too big not too small another oh, I don't know if that sticks or not I lost it I can almost guarantee you that it doesn't because it looks brass another gold tone these are cute I probably put all these in a lot doesn't stick so probably another brass um, this is I think this is Trafari no nope, this is another pair of Monet these are um, lever back it does have the copyright sign so after 1955 and they are enamel got a lot of enamel in this lot so I might sell them all as a lot it's enamel and gold tone got several pairs of Monet's and in here so far these are really cute um, these have feels like no well, they look like glass stones they're rounded the facets are kind of rounded they don't have any markings on them but they're kind of cute I don't know can you sell does this kind of stuff sell singly um, leave a comment let me know if you have luck with these unmarked earrings or if you sell them in lots but they're cute mate to that earring mate to that one and this one is marked it is marked I think it says Trafari yeah well ah oh, dang I'm going blind these lights are hurting my eyes I have to work that yeah it says Trafari that's kind of cute just a small gold tone good size those I might try to sell by themselves so I probably won't go for very much but let me know how you guys do on the Trafari post these are probably more modern so probably eBay or Poshmark that they're cute another plastic stretchy bracelet and that looks like another Trafari I almost can see yeah this is Trafari with a copyright this is another like moon shaped black enamel and gold a lot of enamel in here so probably just like I said put them all as a lot and maybe $25 or something these are cute I don't know if the mate is in there or not but these are cute no marks has uh, the silver rings the beads the the rings on the beads they stick to the metal but the earring doesn't it looks like it might be stainless steel it's a um, fish hook I don't know if I had that one already or not and so I'll start. I'm really tired I worked all day so they're all starting to run in together now 
And there is the mate to that other one. These are really cute. I might actually keep these for myself. Not that I really need to keep any of it, but because I have the tongue, but I really like those. I'm trying to get a good. There you go. It has a little baguette set stone in it. So I might keep those. And the other black. Um, yeah, I think this Trafari. I think we had this other one. Yep, that's the other Trafari. This looks like a little rhinestones. It has rhinestones around it, and then it looks like somebody put green, uh, I mean green, pink. Boy, I really am tired. Pink embroidery thread around it. We're almost there. Trying to keep this one short. I think I already had the other one like that. And this is probably the best thing in here. Well, not this, but let me go ahead and show this. Because I had looked at that the first time. This is broken um, chain. It could easily be fixed. I don't know if it's worth fixing. Probably is kind of cute. Either a free gift if it fixes, because it's not tarnished or anything. So a free gift or um, crafter's lot. I'm saving the best for last because you're not going to believe it. Here is a little, because like I said, I started doing the unjarring and then paused to um, untangle chains and then realized when I restarted it that it didn't start. I accidentally turned it off. But this is just a little stick in faux silver, probably nickel, faux peridot, princess cut post. You see, I had all this untangled and now it is all tangled again. So. Not going to pause though because I don't want to mess myself up, but I got to get this loose because you totally got to see this one. It's really funny because the reason I really want you to see this because I had joked about it. I'll show you that last. Okay, this is definitely leather, artisan made. Yeah, that's nothing. Looks like a piece of, I don't know, it's tarnished like, or rusted. So yeah, it's all chipped. I don't know what that is, but that looks like trash. And I have got to show you this without anything hanging on it. So I got to get all this junk off of it. Okay, a little bracelet with a peace sign on it. And it actually says something. What does it say? It says... One... One Well Surf Company? Don't know. Never heard of that. Yeah, it says... A couple of things but it's too small for me to read and it's just on a piece of um it's on a piece of i don't know looks like embroidery thread of some kind and i gotta get these apart Now there's two things here. I checked that earlier and this is sterling and the chain that is, I mean, 925 and the chain. It looks like a little, um, very light colored blue topaz and a little sterling pendant on a really fine silver chain. But, and then there is a cow, enameled cow. Um, maybe cloisonne. I don't know. The difference between enameling, really, and cloisonne is enameling is usually just laid on the finish. But cloisonne, usually it is wire that is, the outlines are made with wire and then it's filled in between with like either a plastic resin or a melted glass. But that's kind of the difference between cloisonne and enameling. 
enameling is just, you know, sort of painted on there. It's made out of enamel. Um, or not necessarily painted, but filled in. But that's the really what cloisonne is, is it's wiring laid down um, to outline it, and then it's filled in in between. Okay, got to get this dang thing off because, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, and then the one last thing. This looks like those, I don't know if anybody else remembers from the 70s when they used to like gold dip leaves and stuff like that in 24 karat and make pendants out of them. I think I still have a couple of those in my jewelry box, but that's what this looks like. And I don't see any markings. Well, there may be one right there. I don't see any markings on there, but my eyes are gone, so I'll check it out better later but that's what that looks like the color of it of the gold looks like that and it doesn't stick the chain doesn't stick um there is something else caught on there that is sticking oh that cow's thing that is definitely not silver but the little one little tiny one is i had them almost untangled earlier okay so this is like makes the whole jar totally worth it this is believe it or not a piece of lalique it's lalique costume jewelry but this is amazing lalique is really expensive it's got a knot in it i got to get it untangled i don't think it is vermeil or 925 i'll have to check it out but it is mark lalique in a couple of places right there says Lalique oh, I gotta get that so you can see it two places right there and also on the hang tag it says Lalique wish I could get that to focus so you could see it but when I photograph it to sell I will it's almost too cool to sell but it's all I don't really need another necklace but it is Lalique so I might keep it but Lalique makes both you know 14 or makes most gold silver and costume jewelry but they have this exact same this um, it's kind of a a gold clear stones hard to see my eyes are gone right now but it is kind of a clear stone um, bezel set but they have a stick pan listed on the leak like this there's a stick pan like that and I know that stick pan used I think on eBay and that's the one that has the leak on it is selling for over like hundred and twenty dollars for just the stick pen so I'm gonna have to look this up and see what it is worth use but the leak is pretty expensive the leak makes a lot of glassware and stuff like that but but they do make jewelry so that made the whole jar worth it so you know just to recap a little bit as a couple of pieces of silver definitely made this jar worth it this this sterling brooch it does need some repair but it's that's a pretty heavy piece of silver and i believe those those do feel like yep yeah, those feel like real pearls too so that and then there was several pairs of trafari so and if this is real this sells used for about a hundred twenty dollars something like that i mean new for like 130 bucks so it you know maybe 50 bucks on ebay or whatever but you know, like i said if anybody has any comments knows anything about any of this just let me know um on the watches and the stuff i was unsure of please leave a comment and that is it for today i have got to get to bed i got a pack tomorrow i'm going to be in topeka for a couple of weeks visiting my sister so while i'm there i'm going to be looking for some jewelry jars and maybe do a video with my sister so thank you everybody and good night